Hey, you guys. If you all would like to see how I got this super cute high ponytail with curly extensions, then just keep watching my video. Okay, y'all. So, for this hairstyle, I'm going to be using some extensions from the Kinky Coily Collection. I used their Kinky Curly uh, Texture and 22 inches. This is how the texture looked right out of the package. And then this right here is how it looked after I co-washed and detangled the hair. And again, this right here is the difference on how it looks. But to get started with my actual hair, I'm going to take it out of my little bun. Uh, I did start on clean hair. It was just, you know, air dried in that bun. So I'm splitting my hair in half. Then I'm going to take my spray bottle and uh, spritz this one side with water. And then I'm actually going to go in with my petal brush and detangle. And then I'm going to repeat the same process on the other side. But uh, I did want to just tell y'all that this footage is actually from October or November of last year, 2019. And um, Kinky Coily Collection no longer exists. I know that's kind of weird. Uh, that's why I'm not really focusing on the brand in this video. More so just using the hair. Um, so I just wanted to tell y'all that. But this is how this side looked detangled right here. And the other side is also detangled. As you can see, my hair looked really good with no product. But I'm going to go in with the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Conditioner by Shea Moisture to moisturize my hair for this style. And as you can see, I use a really good amount of it of that conditioner. Shea Moisture conditioners are really moisturizing, in my opinion. So I do like to use those as moisturizers. But as you can see, this is just me working it in, and then I'm going to go in with my petal brush just to further um, detangle and to distribute the product evenly throughout my hair. And then I'm going to apply. Uh, the same about the same amount of product on the other side and do the exact same thing So my hair gets back tangled really quickly when it's wet so I'm going to work my hair up into a loose ponytail very slowly as you can see i'm only going um i'm only doing a fourth at a time and i'm lightly detangling it detangling it upward with my petal brush and then i want to pull the whole back half up as you can see and take my wide tooth comb and um just make sure it's no tangles and then i'm going to go in with my petal brush and then i want to put it in a very very loose ponytail because after it's in this ponytail as you will see i'm going to apply my gel all over the perimeter of my head now i'm going to take my hard bristle brush and sleek my hair up to the top of my head i want my hair to be very smooth so yeah uh whenever i do a sleek high ponytail i always brush up the front first and then i pull it into place as you will see and then i brush the top i don't know if that matters but i'm just trying to give y'all as much information as possible Now I'm going to take two ponytail holders and I'm going to wrap it around uh, about four to five times. I want my ponytail to be, to be in place, so four to five times. As you can see, I'm taking some more gel and I'm going to put that all on my perimeter just to gel up any flyaways that might have happened when I was tying my hair up. And I'm also taking my 
wide tooth comb and further detangling that this ponytail and i think y'all are going to see me go in with my paddle brush too i'm not sure but i am Now I'm going to go in with some more of that Jamaican black castor oil conditioner to apply it all over the length of my hair. If you've been following me for a while, you know moisture is important to me. So I always moisturize my ponytails. And as you can see right now, I'm also going in with my petal brush and further detangling my ponytail. And then after this, I'm going to go in with my oil and apply that all over the length of my hair. And then after this, you're actually going to see me braid this um, ponytail, obviously into a braid. Because when I was starting this style, I thought I was going to use one technique to install the extensions, but I so I actually used another. I will get into that in, two, in a second, but yeah. Oh, so after your braid is fully braided, um, I'm actually using the technique where you wrap the extensions up the ponytail but my hair is too thin for that so that just wasn't working the hair wasn't staying um on my braid even with the bobby pins i was using it just wasn't working so as you can see i took that braid down combed out the uh, ponytail once again and i just did like the wrap around technique i guess you would call it as you can see i put the very start of the uh track um into the ponytail with the bobby pin and as you can see i'm just wrapping the hair around now and that is the final technique that i used and once i got to the end of the track i took that piece of hair as you can see and i wrapped that around the ponytail So once I finished with that, just to ensure the sturdiness of this ponytail, I took another piece of hair and wrapped that around the ponytail in the opposite direction, just to make sure that my hair, that the hair didn't come out. And as you can see, I'm going to um, put a bobby pin in to hold that piece of hair in place. And right now I'm applying the conditioner to the ponytail as well. Uh, this is human hair and I was just moisturizing the hair and it was also, it will also make it look more like my hair so everything can blend. And from this point on, it's just touching it up and making it look as natural as possible. As y'all can see, I did not, I did not like the way um, it looked with the other hair wrapped around. So I took another piece of hair from the back, and I'm wrapping that around as well. And this is going to create that band type of effect uh, way better than it did with the first two pieces of hair, as you can already see. And once again, like I did with the other piece, I put a bobby pin in to hold that in place. And after that, this hair looks so much better with that band around. It's just my opinion. You, you don't have to do that as many times as I did if you plan on doing this style for Valentine's Day. But just again, like I was saying earlier, I'm taking the uh, i'm trying to make the hair look more like my hair so that's why you saw me with my paddle brush kind of blended you know everything together but now as you see i'm about to get started with my baby hairs so i say this in almost every video when i lay my edges i do um, i lay them in a swoop motion and um, i hold them in place with my finger as i'm going back um it's easier to watch and learn than it is for me to explain so i'm just going to be quiet and let y'all listen to the music and watch me finish my edges
So now I'm going to take some gel one last time and apply that to the perimeter once again. Uh, just to lay down any flyaways that might have happened when I was putting the hair in. Okay, so this is how it's looking before I go into the next part of this video. As you can see, this is a very quick time lapse of me doing my makeup that I uploaded on Instagram. And I just wanted to show y'all, you know, the little look that I did is very quick. Uh, comment down below if you want a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. And I can post that before Valentine's Day if you all would like. But yeah, and that was, this is the final result. It's super pretty and I love it. Okay, y'all. So this is the final look with my makeup done. I feel like a bad bee. Like a bad bee. I'm so sad. It's 3.40 in the morning and I'm going to wash this whole face off because I did a good job. It's super cute. I really love it. The process actually did take a little while because I didn't know exactly how to install this. Uh, it was the process, but I figured it out. And I actually do have my actual hair, like in the center, out as well. Cause you know, my hair is curly, this hair is curly. So it blended really well. But this is it. This is the final look. I can wear it to either side now. I don't know which side I like more, or I can just wear it to the back. Or I could even wear it like in a bun. So my final consensus of the hair is, honestly, I would give it like a seven out of 10 maybe. It was okay. It was okay hair. I really, I liked it. I actually did like it. I think it was really good hair for my first like experience with weave. Um, and I, I just really like my hair. I really like it. And I just look so good. Like I feel like, I don't know, like, I don't know. I look good. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment down below anything you want if you have any suggestions on how to make you know the installation easier or whatever i don't know comment that down below share this video with a friend and also subscribe to my channel we're on a roll to 200 and i'm just super excited to get there so i'm gonna see my next video y'all bye